as time goes on and technology gets more sophisticated, they find even more sophisticated ways of taking your money from you and giving you points and various other things, making your life more difficult on the roads. Well, you should see the latest invention they've come out with. Keep watching till the end and I'll let you know what it is. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing all right. Thank you very much for joining me once again. Make sure you hit the thumbs up on the video and uh, subscribe to the channel. Keep up to date with everything that happens here. Well, yes, I'm going back to cars and what happens on the roads with regard to uh, getting caught out. You know, you've got all these measures in place and fines getting issued for all sorts of things. Makes it a bit more difficult, doesn't it? Well, what I want to look at is cameras. Uh, speed cameras particularly, you've got the cameras on the side of the roads, haven't you? You drive past faster than you should be at the point where it triggers them, flash, and you get a fine in the post. When they're a bit more sophisticated these days, they don't flash at you for one thing, and they can actually look at a lot more. Now, let's have a look at this, uh, and I'll make this full screen on here so you can see it properly. You can see on the right there, uh, new speed cameras are able to see inside a driver's vehicles after highway code changes. Now, I'd love to know what those highway code changes are, but there's two uh, two cameras on the post there. The idea is they can, you know, keep an eye on either side of the traffic uh, all at the same time, and they use something called low light technology uh, to actually, you know track and see what's going on and one of the things about these cameras when you drive past them too fast they don't flash you and they're able to look inside the vehicle they can see things like are you using a mobile phone when you shouldn't have you got your seatbelt on i'd love to see how many taxi drivers carrying passengers get fined there because i don't know what it's like in any other place but here in my area where i'm licensed you don't have to wear a seatbelt if you've got passengers on board so that could be interesting. But there you go. At the moment, they've been rolled out in Greater Manchester, but they're looking at sticking them everywhere else. So we'll have to see what happens. Let me know what you think in the comments. Be interesting to read. And I look forward to talking to you again soon. Toodaloo.